everybody, and welcome to the Your Workout for the Week. We have eight exercises we're going to work through today. We're going to end up doing five rounds total, which sounds like a lot, but this is quick and dirty, gets us to the point. So let's start warming up together. In place, you're going to go into a jumping jack. You guys know how to do those. Moving those arms, moving those legs. We're going to go about 10 more seconds here and sticking with the jumping jack when your arms come down to the sides and your feet come together, you're going to squat down and try to touch the ground. Let's add that jumping jack to a little mini squat. Jump back up, drop to the little mini squat. You don't have to touch the floor. You can just reach for your mid shin, your ankles, whatever feels good there. Going to go about 10 more seconds here. Make your way back to a regular jumping jack to one back to regular jumping jacks here and let's cruise here about seven more seconds before we add that squat again three two one add the jumping jack to squat ten more seconds here warming up those arms those legs those hips getting our breath going our heart rate going and you can rest in two one relax all right, just taking a balanced stance, we're gonna swing our arms around our bodies, twisting from right to left, letting our arms just dangle out to the sides like little ragdoll arms, and they end up kind of slapping against our body from one side, then to the next, should feel kind of good, wringing out the spine in a nice, gentle way, letting the arms relax, relaxing those shoulders. Couple more swings here, and you can relax. All right, leg swings here, balance on that left foot. Start swinging the right leg front to back, front to back as you get balanced and kind of warmed up through this one. Start to reach the front swing a little higher. Start to reach the back swing with a nice bent knee as if you're trying to scratch the back side of your body with your heel. A couple more swings here and we'll switch it over to our second side in two, one, and pause. Switching it up, balance on the right leg, swinging the left front to back, front to back. As always, remember each side's a little different, so respect what's going on here. It feels nice and free. Start to lift that swing forward a little higher. If it's feeling a little tight, just kind of take care of yourself. Keep swinging front to back. Reach that back heel like you're trying to scratch your back. Three, two, one, relax. All right, we're gonna reach our arms overhead, grab the right wrist with your left hand, and then tilt on over to the left side, pull that right arm over, making a nice half moon shape with your body, releasing through the shoulders here. Keep pulling over, pulling over. Your body tried to round forward most likely, so pull that right chest, that right shoulder open a little bit, and then soften your knees and round forward all the way your forward fold. Let your head dangle here. Soften those knees, feel your body drape over your thighs, let your head go a little bit. Trace that circle to the right side a little bit, grab the left wrist with the right hand, come up to standing and make your way to a nice side bend on the second side, pull that left arm over top, keep your chest open forward, if it rounded out close, open it back up so you're standing straight up now in that nice little side bend stretch. Breathing in to whatever you're feeling and relax come out of this let's figure out what we're doing today so like i promised we have eight exercises so standing in place you are going to have a nice athletic stance we're going to share these first four exercises they'll be a nice round one and round three so standing in place sit down to an athletic stance kind of like a half squat i guess we'd say maybe a little deeper depending on how our hips are feeling at the moment and we're just going to shuffle step to the right about five steps so just take kind of little mini not too big steps but move to the right taking five shuffle steps and then move back to the left staying low the whole time taking five shuffle steps so you're just going to go back and forth like this so staying low traveling low is as if you're trying to travel under a nice hot wire above your head staying low and you're just doing shuffle steps to the right shuffle steps to the left staying low trying not to only be in our toes we also want to be in the heels a bit and you can relax come out of that so we have right to left shuffle steps now we are going to balance just on our left leg let's balance left leg to start with and you're going to step back with the right leg drop down into a reverse lunge feel that find your balance now come up to standing just on the single left side 
So drive that right knee forward and now drop back to a lunge, but this time it's going to be an X lunge. So step back and reach that right foot around towards the left a bit, lower down into an X lunge or a curtsy lunge. That means the right knee's right behind the front left heel and then stand bug up to a balance. Keep the balance, go to a regular reverse lunge, stand up to balance, and then reach around X lunge, stand up to balance. Do that one or two more times. And then we'll switch over to practice our second side. So now standing on the right leg, we're going to step back with the left foot, drop down into a reverse lunge, find your balance here for a moment. And now come up to standing, balancing just on the right leg, bringing the left knee forward and up. And now step back and around to an X lunge on the second side, lower down. Remember, this is a nice narrow short stance. We're not reaching out behind us too far and beyond ourselves to the right too far. Stay in a little narrow box here. Come back up to standing in a balance, reverse lunge to X lunge, reverse lunge to X lunge. You don't have to come to that balance in the middle, but of course I encourage that. Find out what works for you. And sometimes we just don't have have our balance down so you might have to put that foot down one more time reverse one more time x and relax all right so we will do those three lower body exercises and it's going to go into now a jog in place but not just a regular jog in place we're going to go into a wide jog in place but let's start out regular jogging in place just jog where you are start to pick those legs up a little bit and now instead of just placing our feet straight down we're gonna keep jogging in place but reach our legs out a little bit so kind of out at a 20 30 degree angle if we're in class I like to call these a tire jog so as if you're trying to jog as quickly as possible with your feet landing between two tires and bring the leg up to the center and plant with the opposite one now try to pick up that pace, right, left, right, left, reaching a little bit wide, about 20, 30 degrees, and you're bringing your leg up to center, thighs parallel to the ground, picking up the pace, pump those arms, feel your belly, kind of keep that balance. Stay here for three, two, one, relax. Nice job. Those four exercises are our round one and our round three. Remember, it is right to left shovel steps, staying low the whole time. Then we have the big balance of reverse lunge to X lunge on the right, and then the same thing on the left before we do our wide tire jogs. Let's crawl down to the floor. We're gonna learn our next four exercises. And from the floor, you're gonna be on your hands and knees. You're gonna sit back in what we call a child's pose as your bum is down on your heels. Your toes can be tucked or untucked, however feels good to you. Your arms are extended long overhead. Hands are placed on the floor or mat. And now you're gonna lift your body up out of child's pose, float forward to a kneeling plank. And then from here, you're gonna lower into a push up. How low can you go? Press yourself back up and back to your child's pose. Do that a couple times. Floating forward, lower to your low push up. Press back up, child's pose. Nice. So this is a kneeling flow. If you do yoga, moving through the chaturanga here. And if you want to play with how it feels instead of child's pose, you can actually do downward dog, floating forward, lowering through chaturanga, knees off the ground, and then press down dog. Keep on moving here. Another option would be a floating forward from child's pose. Tuck those toes, pick your knees up, lower through a push-up, knees off the ground, and press yourself back up, drop the knees, sit back into child's pose. So you have those three options. Relax now. Nice. Our second exercise here with the upper body, we're gonna move from an elbow plank to a plank from our hands. So prop those elbows on the ground. Our fingers are staring straight forward, so our forearms are nice and parallel to each other. Hands, palms are placed flat on the ground, and let's tuck those back toes, lift our body up. You're in a nice plank with elbows or forearms on the ground here. Let's lift up through our chest, pull that belly in, tighten our bum, tighten our thighs. Nice work. All right, now we're going to transition to hand plank. So not letting our knees touch the ground. You're going to place your hand where your elbows are, right hand then left hand, then lower back down. Elbow plank up to hand plank. Play with how it feels to lead with a different side each time. And now check in with that body that's nice and tight as can be. Try not to rock from side to side too much. So a nice still quiet body as you're just navigating through the chest, through your forearms to your hands. And you can relax, roll the shoulders out a little bit. Let's lie down all the way onto our bellies. And from here, you're going to bring your legs, your thighs together, your ankles together. We're going to keep our thighs, our knees, our toes on the ground. 
Let's take our hands, bring them right below our shoulder blades. Let's lift our chest, our shoulders off the ground. Peel those shoulders back towards each other. Now removing the hands from the mat, you're gonna reach your arms forward and overhead like you're flying. Remember your legs, your lower half stays on the ground. And now looking kind of beyond the front of the mat, we are gonna turn so our palms are facing the floor. And now you're going to bring your elbows down to your sides like you're doing a lat pull down. And now reach back up, keeping your chest lifted, your head lifted the whole time. Going lat pull down, reach overhead and extend. Lat pull down, reach overhead and extend. So we're trying not to trace our arms on the ground at all. Not touching on the ground with our arms our chest or our head moving through these nice lat pull down so as you're here really flex your bum feel your pelvis kind of reach into the floor feel your belly fire up we're protecting the back here if you feel anything that's too much in the low back just drop that chest a little bit if it's too much all together then bring your chest all the way to the ground and regardless let's bring our chest down and relax nice work so a prone or lying lat pull down so those three exercises roll into the fourth exercise of this second and fourth round, which will be an up-down, so a burpee with no push-up. Up-down, which is a burpee with no push-up. So you're already on the floor. We can start down here. Let's walk ourselves up into a plank. When you're ready, you're going to hop those feet forward up between the hands. Stand up, jump up, reach for the ceiling, for the sky. Squat back down, hop back to your plank, hop back forward, and jump up. So keep moving through this up-down which is our burpee, not doing a push-up. The reason being, we just did a ton of push-ups. We don't need to do those again. Keep cruising here for three, two, one. You got it. Okay, those are our eight exercises. We're gonna link them together like so. Round one, you are gonna do all those lower half exercises, exercises one through four that we learned first, for 30 seconds each, back to back to back to back. Then we'll pause, take a mini break before we go to our, all of our upper body exercises for 30 seconds each. Then we'll go back to our lower body exercises doing one minute each back to our upper body exercises one minute each we'll have a break in between and then we'll wrap it up with a final round just 30 seconds of everything but it's going to be a kind of all over the place we're going to go lower body to upper body lower body to upper body with our exercises so it's going to be a little bit of a different sequence but all the same exercises so get your place ready and let's get started. So before we roll, remember 30 seconds each, we're on our lower body, you're gonna stay low and we're doing right to left shuffling. You're gonna take five shuffle steps to the right, then five to the left, we're staying low the entire 30 seconds. Then we'll move into our reverse lunge to X lunges, keeping our left foot on the ground first. Let's start in three, two, one, you're on. Right to left shuffle steps, stay nice and low. Ten seconds down already. Sink down on those heels a little more. Reach your bum back. Peel those shoulders back. If your head is shooting too far forward, that means we need to pull those shoulders back. Drop our tailbone a little bit. Just under ten seconds to go. Keep on moving. You have three, two, one, and stop. All right, left foot is balancing. Reverse lunge in two, one. Let's go. Reverse lunge. Back up to standing, X lunge, back up to standing. So keep alternating, reverse to X. Try to balance the whole time. That left foot, relax those toes in your shoe. Sink down right through the center of the foot. Really feeling that weight through the heel as well. And you are halfway through this 30. Nice work, 10 seconds to go. Nice deep lunge back. Up to a balance, deep lunge, X lunge though. Back to a balance and two, one time. Switching legs, right leg is your balance. Let's start now, 30 seconds on. Reverse lunge, really lower through that back knee, come up to that balance. X lunge, lower through that back knee, come up to the balance. Same as the first side, sink into the center of your foot, really feel that weight towards the heel. You can relax those toes. You're halfway, 15 seconds to go. Breathe into those legs as you make your way through these final 10 seconds of this exercise. Keep sinking nice and low. Inhale, exhale. Five more seconds here. And two, one, relax. Shake it out. We're going to our wide tire jog. Here we go. Two, 
one, you are on. Tire jog. So jogging in place, reaching those legs a little bit wider. Picture right leg stepping in the middle of one tire, left stepping in the middle of the other. Bring those legs up nice and high in the center. Those thighs come parallel to the ground. Now pick up that pace. You are halfway right now. 15 seconds to go. Pumping those arms. Feel that belly. Keep yourself nice and balanced as your legs reach out wide. We have about seven seconds to go, folks. We'll take a short break coming up. Five seconds, sprint to the finish line. And three, two, one, time. Nice work. Let's take a short break here, 30 second break. Shake those legs out, catch your breath, sip your water. We are gonna make our way to the floor next. We are doing our child's pose to a push-up. Keep your knees down or up. If you want to advance this, you can do down dog to a push-up, totally up to you. Then we transition to our elbow to hand planks. Then we lay down on our bellies and do our lap pull downs. Then we go to our up downs, which is the burpee, no push-up, and we start all of this in five seconds. So child's pose to push-up in three, two, one, let's go. All right, use that breath. Inhale as you come forward and lower. Exhale, push yourself away. Inhale, come forward and lower. Exhale, push yourself away all the way. Bring your bum to your heels. Nice long range here. See how low you can lower your body. Play with how it feels to have knees down or knees up. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one, let's pause. Make your way to an elbow plank. We're gonna transition elbow to hands, elbow to hands in two, one, you go. 30 seconds is on. And be sure to lead with a different side each time or every few times you choose. Now check in with the body, kind of from your chest down. Is it rocking side to side, kind of opening up to the sides of the room? Try to keep that nice and still. So fire up those legs, squeeze those thighs together, pull that belly in, lift the chest up. Five more seconds here, folks. You're gonna lie down on the ground in three, two, one. Let's lay down, nice job. All right, lying or prone lat pull down, low half stays on the ground. Here we go, two, one. Lift those chests up and reach those arms forward. Pull those elbows down to your side, reach back overhead like Superman. Pull the elbows down to the side, beyond cactus arms, and continue to reach overhead, then elbows to your sides. Nice work, we are halfway right now, 15 more seconds. So fire up that belly, reach your pelvis into the ground a little bit more, fire up those thighs, keep your chest lifted as best you can. Your head, your gaze is looking out just beyond the front of your mat if you have one. And three, two, one, relax, nice work. All right, going to an up down, we start in three, two, one, let's go. 30 second up down. Again, burpee, no push up. We already did a lot of those. Five seconds in already. As you hop forward, keep your arms nice and long. Lift your bum up to the ceiling. Try to keep your spine long, legs long as possible instead of bending too deeply through those. Halfway, 15 seconds. Push your pace here if you can. Hop back to plank, hop back forward to that fold. Jump and reach up towards the ceiling. Five more seconds here. Get a couple more in. You get to take a break in three, two, one, time. All right, 30 second break. We're gonna go back to the top of this. Low half exercises coming up again. Exercises one through four. Shuffle steps, reverse lunge to X lunge, both sides, and then our wide tire jogs. We're doing one minute this time. One full minute. Let's start this in three, two, one, begin. Shuffle steps right, shuffle steps left. All right, you guys stay here, sink down a little lower, peel those shoulders back, lift that chest away. Keep cruising here, you are 15 seconds in, 45 seconds to go, I'm gonna let you be for a little bit, stay nice and low, trying not to stand up out of this, see if you can stay low the entire time. We are in our final 15 seconds right here. You guys are doing great. Sink down a little lower, relax those toes. Drop your tailbone, tuck it under a little bit. Keep cruising five more seconds here. Three, two, one. Stand up, shake it out, drop down, reverse lunge to X lunge, left foot on the ground, starting now. 
One minute is rolling. Reverse lunge, sink nice and low. Stand up to balance. X lunge, sink nice and low. That knee is right behind that front heel. Stand up to your balance. If you feel your body shooting forward, your belly coming towards your thigh, and during either of your lunges, peel that chest back. Torso is nice and upright as you move through these. Sink into your front heel. Wiggle those toes. We're 25 seconds down, just about halfway, folks. All right, over halfway. Let's go 26 more seconds. And we're in our home stretch here. 12 seconds to go, 10 seconds to go, still moving. Try to balance to the end if you can. Keeping your range for three, two, one time, shake that leg out, switch it over, right leg is balancing, you are on. One minute here, join when you can, if you haven't already, sink nice and low, find your balance on this new side, make sure on those X lunges, you're keeping everything nice and tight, the back knee is right behind the front heel, your torso is nice and upright, just like before, peel your torso off your thighs if it's kind of shooting forward, and breathe into whatever y'all feeling, relax your front toes. 25 down, just about halfway. And there it is, halfway, 30 seconds to go. We are in our final 15 seconds, folks. The only time you have to do a full minute on this one is right now, 10 seconds to go. Keep your form, keep your posture. Four seconds, two, one, let's take a break. Moving to our wide leg jog in two, one, let's begin. Wide tire jog. Right side, left side, bringing those legs up to the center. Nice strong belly, pump those arms, nice strong torso. Support this body as it goes off balance as you reach wide to the right and wide to the left. We are 15 seconds down, quarter of the way through this minute. Find a speed that's a good push for you, something manageable for the next 40 seconds. And you're in there, 35 to go here. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Push this pace, keep this pace. You're breathing here, pumping those arms, strong torso. And we are in our final 20 seconds. If you need to kind of take a little posture break, feel free, but here we go, 15 to go, finish strong. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Bring those legs up to center. Drive those legs to center. Reach those legs down. Push off. Pull back in. Push off. Pull back in. Five seconds. Little sprint for two, one, and time. Nice work. Let's take a little break. Walk that off, and then we'll do our upper body everything for one minute. Coming up. get going about 15 seconds so upper body everything one minute child's pose to push up knees can be up or down if you want you to the down dog push up totally up to you elbow to hand plank lying lat pull down lifting that chest up and then we have our up downs here we go starting in three two one child's pose and push up one minute here we're gonna try to transition quickly just like we do with our low half from one activity to the next Use your breath here. Inhale as you come forward and lower. Exhale as you push yourself away and back. Don't hesitate to do child's pose. Don't hesitate to have your knees down. Also, don't hesitate to push yourself. Try picking those knees up for that push-up. 25 seconds down here, everyone. 30 to go, halfway. Keep 
cruising here. You have 20 seconds to go. Oh my gosh, starting to get tired. Our hands probably peeling up like claws, so really lengthen the hands along. Place the whole palm onto the floor. 10 seconds lower. Push your body back up. Use that breath. Six seconds to go. You got this. Keep moving to the end. And two, one, relax. Nice job. Roll those shoulders a little bit. Roll those wrists. We're going to go elbow to hand plank. Your low half stays stationary. Two, one, time is on. Join when you can. So elbow plank, perfect. Nice, strong body. Transition up to plank from the hands. Perfect, strong, tight body. Transition as you lower down, keeping that strong, tight body as you move from elbows to your hands, keeping a beautiful plank. Your hips stay up, your belly's drawn in, your chest is up. 20 down already. If you need to take a break, break down an elbow plank or in hand plank, totally up to you. 30 seconds down, just over halfway now. Use that breath. Probably peel your chin out of your chest. Look beyond your fingertips. Look beyond the front of the mat if you're using one. 20 seconds to go. Drop those shoulders out of your ear lobes. Open that chest. Lift that chest up. Pull that belly in. 10 seconds. Perfect form to the end here. Four seconds. You got this. You get a break. In two, one. Now relax all the way to the floor. Let's just lie here for a moment and bring our right ear to the mat. Relax that neck for a moment or two. And then let's bring our left ear to the mat. Relax on this side. So remember this one is keeping your chest, your torso lifted as best you can. Low half on the ground, moving through lap pull down. So to make this more difficult, you can reach your arms further away from the ground, up towards the sky, towards the ceiling above. Here we go. Starting in two, one, you are on. Lying lat pull down, no weight here. Feels pretty good though. This is a fun one you can often do with a rope or a towel between the hands. You can move through this, but keep that chest lifted. Keep your elbows, your biceps, your arms off the ground throughout the full movement. We're just about a third of the way through. There we go. We are 40 seconds to go. If you need to rest at all, just bring your face, your torso closer to the mat. If it needs to come all the way down, that's more than fine. But try to keep those arms lifted off the ground, continuing to move through that lat pull down movement. If you've taken your break, you can come back up into this, pulling up that torso. All right, 15 seconds to go, everyone. Tuck that chin in. You're breathing, nine seconds. Ooh, yeah. Reach that pelvis into the floor, pull the belly in, three, two, one, and relax. Don't relax too long because we get to do our up downs in three, two, one, you're on. One minute up downs, the burpee with no push up. Gotta love it. We're doing burpees in some capacity every single week. If you haven't caught on to that yet, we're 10 seconds in. As you hop forward, float forward, feel those hips lift, keep those legs straight as possible, bring those toes up in between as you can at least. Third of the way through, just under 40 to go. You're still breathing. As soon as those feet land between the hands, jump up, reach for the sky, for the ceiling. Halfway, 30 seconds left. Nice perfect plank as you hop back, trying not to soften through the knees too much or let the belly sag to the floor. Pass those toes nice and light. 15 to go. Final home stretch here. See if you can push through. 10 seconds, try not to break, you've got this. Hang in there for five seconds, get two more in. I bet you can get an up and a down, an up and a down in two, one, and time. Nice work. All right, get some water, walk this off. We have our fifth and final round coming up and we'll get going in about 55, zero seconds. resting, resetting a little bit, and I will talk you through what we're doing for our final round. It's a little power round, meaning we're putting everything together. We're only going 30 seconds for each, so it's a four minute round. We will go exercise one to exercise five, which is shuffle steps, and then to our child's pose to push up. 
then we'll go exercise two to six. So we're moving from a low body to an upper body exercise. So a lot of transitioning in this one. 30 seconds on everything. Let's get ready to roll. Shuffle steps in five seconds. Stay low the whole 30 in three, two, one. You are on. Shuffle five steps to the right, then five steps to the left. Stay nice and low. Remember, think of that trip wire, that hot wire right above your head. Stay below it. All right, tuck that tailbone, peel the shoulders back, lift that chest up a little bit, sink down into the heels as you're transitioning and shuffling right side to left side. Five each direction. Lead with the whole leg, not just your feet. Lead with your thigh, your knee as well. Five seconds to go here. Then you'll pop down to the floor in two, one, time. Make your way to the floor. Child's pose to push up in two, one, you're on. 30 seconds here. Child's pose, flow forward, lower to your push-up. Exhale, push all the way back. Child's pose, inhale, float all the way forward to your push-up and continue that cycle. Halfway there, everyone. Again, play with your push-up. You can lift those knees up if you'd like. You can do down dog instead of child's pose. Whatever feels good on your body this fine day. Five seconds to go. We're gonna come back to our feet in two, one time to your feet left leg is stationary reverse lunge to x lunge in two one you're on reverse lunge right leg goes back come up to your balance x lunge right leg goes back come up to your balance continue through that as you lower through your lunges lower that knee so it hovers right over the ground x lunges make sure that back knee is right behind that front heel we're not stepping too far out to the left you are just over halfway let's go 12 more seconds here you're gonna make your way down to the floor next. We have our planks, elbow to hand planks coming up. Four seconds, you're still here though. Keep moving, two, one, time. Make your way to an elbow plank. Three, two, one, we are going. Elbow to hand planks, up and down. That body is nice and still, it's quiet, meaning it's not rocking all around. 10 down, folks, elbow to hand, elbow to hand. Switch in which side you lead with. Maybe just found a dominant side there. Maybe something feels a little more comfortable. It's kind of interesting how that happens. 10 seconds to go. You're gonna make your way back to your feet. We're gonna leave our right foot in place and do our lunges. Four seconds still here. You got this. And time. Make your way to your feet. Right foot is in place. Reverse lunge in two, one. Let's go. Reverse lunge, look back to the left. Come up to your balance. X lunge, back to the left. Come up to a balance and continue. Reverse to X, reverse to X, keeping everything narrow, knee right behind the heel, knee hovering right over the ground on both types of lunges. You are halfway. 10 seconds to go, folks. Keep cruising here, five more seconds. You're gonna make your way back to the floor, coming up in three, two, one, time. Nice work. Lie down on your belly. We are doing our lat pull downs with the back extension. Let's go in three, two, one, begin. Lift that torso up, moving your arms to that lat pull down position. So reaching overhead like Superman, palms face the ground. Keep them facing the ground as you pull down past the cactus arms, elbows to your sides. Keep that chest open, peel those shoulder blades back. The whole time, keep that chest open. Halfway, you guys. Try to lift the chest off the floor, tighten through that belly, reach through your pelvis through your thighs into the mat keep your toes on the ground five seconds to go here you're gonna make your way to standing in three two one time nice work yes all right to standing we have our wide tire jog starting in three in two one let's go 30 seconds wide tire jog pump those arms pump those legs push your pace here the full 30 if you can Really reach their foot into the ground and then explosively drive that knee back up to the center. Bring your thighs parallel to the ground. Right, left, right, left, right, left. So the belly have to be nice and strong to support yourself as you move through this dynamic movement. You've got this 10 more seconds here. We're gonna transition directly into our up downs coming up in five seconds. Let's do that in three, two, one. Up down is on. Jump up, hop back. Jump forward, jump up, jump and hop back. Nice work, you guys. All right, we are 10 seconds into these up downs. Push your pace, push your distance, meaning hop forward as far as you can, leap up towards the ceiling, squat down straight away, push this pace. 10 more seconds to go, and then you get to be done. Everything you have, pushing the pace, pushing the pace. Five seconds here. 
And three, two, one, time. Woo, we made it. You made it. Nice work. Walk this off. Catch your breath. When you have time, be sure to stretch it out. Roll your shoulders out. Get those quads stretched out. Great work. High five yourself. High five someone if you're working out with them. As always, I appreciate you guys and your time and your effort. Can't wait to be back at this again next time. Until then, take care.